Yo, yo, guys, what's happening? It's Carl Me Tape from Off Target Survival and Prepping. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on this little pocket fishing kit I recently picked up for about £15. Like always, there'll be a link in the description down below if you do want to pick up this item. These people also do have their own website, so I'll put a link to their website so you can have a look at some of the items these people sell. So that's pretty much it. Let's get into the review. Like, you know, at the end of it, I'll give it a 1 to 5 star rating. 1 star being to start with, your money 5 star being picked this up straight away. Uh, so let's have a look. I've done a lot of fishing in my life, so I can give you my honest opinion if this is high quality or low quality equipment, gear, bits, bobs, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> let's hope it's good. So this is actually by the same people who recently did a review on the little pocket fat survival kit they do. And when I got this, I was a little bit flabbergasted because it is a lot smaller than the uh, survival kit. And the survival kit actually does have a little fishing thing in it as well. But uh, this is completely all around and orientated around fishing equipment, fishing gear, fishing bits and bobs. So, see if it's any good. Flabbergasted at the size, but there you go. Let's see. So, you open it up here. Like that, this one slides off so it's a bit more secure. So in here, we'll go over all the items as we get them out. A little bit of fishing line. A little bit of nylon thread. Well, actually, I think it's about... I'll have a now on much. 25 feet of nylon thread and fishing line, so decent amount. Uh, here is a line tracer. In this, we have some screw eyelets, which are actually pretty handy. Some swivels, some egg weights, some little lead weights, just bits and bobs in there basically, all stuff that you're going to need. And here we have fishing hooks, I'll see how many ones there is there, I'm not going to get them out. Ten different size fishing hooks, yeah, just says ten fishing hooks but they are different size, that one's small, that one's big so I'm guessing five, five of the other or maybe three of each or something, I don't know. But some different size fishing hooks there. They're all bunched up, or I would have get them out and have a look, but yeah, I'm not gonna get all this out and mess about with it. <clears throat> so we have the little bait box, we will go over that bit last. In here we have two sinkers. See there? These are both one ounce. Uh, we have a little cheap hook remover. Uh, only ones I've ever used, you can get metal ones, uh, fancier looking ones, but these are about a quid from a pound shop, not even that really. Usually in a little fishing kit for about a quid, they do the trick perfectly. Don't need an expensive item to get a hook out of a fish's mouth. Uh, then last but not least in the actual tin is a razor blade, which I guess you can use for cutting your line if you need to, descaling fish. Uh, yeah, so handy as well I guess. So then let's put that in there. Let's have a look at this. So this is the bait box. Let's have a look what's in here. Because it slides off just like the other thing. So in here we have some different thing of baits. Obviously not live bait, that'd be pretty gross. I'm gonna see some molded maggots. But we have three little maggot grubs here, kind of law bait things. Then here we have some, I guess, worms. Yeah, little worms we have. Getting three of them. We have three pieces of corn. Uh, yeah, it makes it look like sweet corn. Yeah. I haven't got a scent them or anything. Uh, which honestly, I've caught, I've caught a lot of fish on sweet corn, so probably the one I'd probably use immediately. So you've got three of each of that. Is there is six pieces of bait, then you have four glow sticks. So that's all the items in the kit. So this cost, uh, I think, fourteen pounds, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen pounds. So not a lot of money, but not a little. Um, judging on that, looking what I'm getting here, to judging on the size of it, the actual survival kit that I bought was seventeen pounds. Uh, so for three quid less, you know, it's not cheap stuff, but. It's not enough to justify the price. I'm just going to say you could probably go to a pound shop or even order stuff off eBay and probably get nearly all of this. Maybe not the screw eyelets. I've never really seen them in any kind of little fishing kit. This is a bushcraft back to basic kind of little thing. It's pretty useful if you don't know what you could use these for. I'll go over it, I'll go over it a bit now because 
It's probably the only unique item in here. Egg weights, lead weights, swivels, hooks, line traces, lines, bait, all the bits and bobs. You know how to how to use. <clears throat> but basically what you can do with these is you can get a stick and screw these to the end or the side or whatever and basically you can use it to cast out and reel in any fish you get. So yeah, pretty useful when you get four in there. So gives you enough to make four fishing rods in a sense. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not low quality, but it does not justify the price. So for that reason, I'm only going to give this three stars, which is actually the same rating to give the fish uh sorry the survival kit but i'll give it that because i don't think they're for people who don't know how to get survival they're not so there's no reason to get them but for this i'm giving it purely not thinking about survival i mean obviously this is would be used for survival uh it is good quality and i will definitely probably keep it in my bag as a little fishing kit it takes up next to no room weighs next to nothing but there's a lot of good items in here but for the price you could probably get all of these items and maybe even more I'm just going to say I've bought a lot of fishing stuff. You could probably go to a pound shop and get a lot of this fairly cheap. Maybe not the sinkers. Sinkers can be a bit. Uh, but everything else is pretty much a couple of quid, a few quid. It's a bit of a rip-off, but AO. It all comes in a kit. Like I said, these things are more or less attractive to people who don't really know anything. But as someone is into fishing, high-quality stuff, but it's not justified the price, so I'm only going to give it three stars. That's more or less it for this video, guys. It was a shorter one than usual, but yeah, that's more or less it. Peace.